there's still pressure from several lawmakers for Governor Ralph Northam to resign. But many lawmakers are hesitant about impeaching the governor over the racist photo on his EVMS yearbook page. Since the photo surfaced Friday, calls for resignation from all sides of the political spectrum have grown louder. However, there has been no indication from the governor's office that he will do so. Despite the calls to resign, most big brokers in the General Assembly say that they won't vote to impeach the governor. I think there's a rightful hesitation about removal from office because obviously you have to consider that to some degree you're overturning an election. However, lawmakers tell Tony side the administration could have a harder time getting legislation passed if Northam stays in power. Another group brought into the spotlight because of the yearbook photo scandal is Eastern Virginia Medical School. The racist photo was published in the school's 1984 yearbook. Ten on your sides, Kiana Patterson picks up our team coverage this morning. And Kiana, the school is now looking for answers as to how this photo and others like it ended up in its yearbooks. Yes, Lex, there is an investigation right here at EVMS, and school leaders are looking into how unacceptable photos made their way into the yearbook after this racist photo showed up on Governor Ralph Northam's yearbook page on Friday. Since then, the school's president announced that they're launching an external investigation, and former Virginia Attorney General Richard Cullen will conduct it. A diverse panel will also look into how the past yearbooks were published. Now, we found more pictures showing blackface in EVMS yearbooks. Our sister station in Roanoke caught up with the former plastic surgeon in these pictures. And I didn't mean to offend anybody, and that's why I sought out the opinion of the medical students that were African American at the party. If they said, look, no, that's going to offend me, then I would never have done this. Um, would I do this now again? Um, no, I wouldn't. Okay. Because it would offend people. And the investigation will also look into the culture here on campus. They're scheduled to have a press conference talking about that investigation this afternoon at 2 o'clock. In Norfolk, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.